Hello, my friends. Do you recognize this company? Before you answer that, I already know the answer is yes, but do you recognize this guy? Now, this is one of those guys that came from applications and now is into the sales side of things. He's one of those outgoing type engineer folks, much like myself. Rob, it's good to have you here today. Let's talk Heimer technology and what we're standing in front of here. Well, thank you very much for having me here. And uh, yeah, as you mentioned, I worked in the application department for 11 and a half years with Heimer and just recently uh, moved into the sales uh, position for Illinois and Wisconsin. Congratulations Thank on you. That. Thank you very much. If there's a congratulations, some of the apps <laughs> guys out there would be like, trainer, right? <laughs> but no, it's a good thing and you're very well spoken, which allows you to take that time that you spent as an apps guy to For explain sure. to the audience and anyone who comes to see us here at Morris Midwest about the technology very in depth, which I know customers appreciate. For sure. For sure. Yeah. So let's talk about, we know Heimer for so many reasons and one of those is shrink fit, but we're doing more than just shrink fit today, aren't we? So we're doing uh, more than just shrink fit, of course. Uh, what I did earlier was I used our easy set and I got a set stick out length or tool overhang for the cutting tool that I inserted in there. I think I set it up at an inch and three quarters, but I just locked that clip on there. And when I heat it with the induction uh, coil, I drop the tool into the stop, wait for it to grab or, or shrink around the shank of the tool. And then I'm able to take that stopper off and cool it down with the holder uh, and the cutting tool itself having a known stick out um, or projection from the nose of the holder. So Rob, when you say that you have now utilized these calipers here, you set it up to an inch and three quarters, you put it into the shrink fit holder, can we describe to the audience watching right now how that actually benefits them? How does What does that location point do? Is it faster? Is it more precise? What does it actually do for their perspective? So that's beneficial in the fact that you're setting it to the same height that you had it at or the same stick out length or same gauge length as you had previously before you changed the tool. By me knowing that uh, offset or that distance, I'm able to just go ahead and put the machine or the tool back in the machine and not have to remeasure it. Um, what I did also, the holders have a stop in the back end of them. So once I did set that overhang or specific stick out length, I'm then able to take the backup screw from the bottom, bring it up to the shank of the tool. So the next time I'm going to replace the tool, I just shrink it out, uh, unshrink it, and then drop in a new tool. I don't have to use the uh, measuring device. It just drops down to that screw and then it's in the same position. That second part is quite slick, my friend. It I is. like that a lot. Or shall I use clever instead of slick? Because some people hear the word slick and think tricky, right? <laughs> but it's clever, it's, it's clever. wise. It comes from years and years, decades and decades of experience. I like that. Now, I have to ask you the question because the calipers are here. You tightened the piece down, inch and three quarters. You've mentioned all that. You've mentioned how it can benefit the audience. So I have to ask you, how accurate is the setup and the repeatability of what of utilizing this system? Them in such a way. So using that easy set, you can be accurate into a couple uh, to a couple thou uh, couple thousands. That's pretty good. It's repeatability. Yep. Okay, so I like the repeatability of it. Some people, you have systems for sure. If someone needs to be more accurate for sure. than that, oh yeah, with that our exists. We're with our showcasing cool this strength. one today. So for everyone watching, you know that that's not the exact precision of all of Hammer products. I've been into your facility for sure. in Germany. It is mind blowing what you're doing there. So we've, do, we've actually gone over the main product for today at Morris Midwest. Is there anything else you'd like to quickly cover? So we, we did on? look at the safe lock earlier and that's the tool with the cutout. So when I go ahead and shrink the tool, the bore expands and then I can drop the shank into the holder and the grooves on the shank um, thread around the EDM formed um, stops in the holder themselves and then there's adjustment as well. So that's gonna keep a tool from coming out during um, your operation. It's opposite, the, the helix is opposite of the cutting direction, so that has no way of pulling out. And then the stop in the back, like I said, you can come in from the back end, put it up against the bottom, that tool is not gonna to move uh, up in or out on you during your operation. Personally, one of my favorite pieces of technology. Heimer I Safe love Lock. talking about that one. And on top of that, I always like to bring up the Heimer cutting tools because whether accidental, 
whether it's lack of conversation, whatever it might be, sometimes the cutting tools get lost in the whole scheme of Heimer. We hear so much about the other components, worldwide, famous, used everywhere, partnerships everywhere. So I also like to take a moment to focus on the cutting tool side of things, if that's all right with you. Can you talk about the Heimer cutting tools? For sure, we have the Heimer mill. I've got the sign back behind me here. Um, we've got multiple sizes, uh, lengths, uh, length of cut. Um, we have it with the safe lock already put in the shank so then you can put it into the holder with the safe lock. The shanks and the tools can be used without holder or with holders that do not have safe lock as well. So it's another nice thing. It's very versatile. You don't need the safe lock holder but you can still use the same cutting tool as well. Yep, this is what you get when you talk to an apps guy that's moved to sales. Rob, I'm going to give you a high five. Thank Audience, you very much. Audience, I'm going to give you a high five. And we are going to move on with one last question, which is, when it comes to yourself and Heimer, what does the relationship of Morris Midwest mean to you as we're standing here at their open house today? Uh, I'm very thankful for it, and I like working uh, with them. We actually have a couple of our shrink fit tools on the five axis machine right behind you. Uh, we've got one in there called our power shrink chuck for the roughing operations, and then we've got our power mini shrink that has the slim nose um, for the finishing application, which is really beneficial because it can get into um, tighter areas for that kind of finishing or um, milling operation. So is there any chance that I could get you to get me one of those soccer balls they're making right now? Um, I'll have to see what I can do, but uh, might gonna be a chance. I'm going to hold him to it, guys. I'm going to hold him to it, Rob. Thank you <laughs> right. so much for your time today. Hey, thank you so much. First time on camera. He did amazing. Thank you all thank for you watching MCD CNC. We'll see you again soon.